Hi eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome back to another video. This is video number 148 on my channel and we're going to be talking about another bolo today, Be On The Lookout and the item is Coogie Sweaters. Um, I've seen this pronounced both ways, Coogie or Kuji. I actually looked up how to pronounce this word and there were two options so however you say it is fine the bottom line is to know what they are so you can make money on them. So if you are a Shark Tank fan you know that Damon John is involved with this brand. I don't think he actually owns it. It says aside from FUBU which has amassed more than six billion in global sales and Damon John's shark branding he has a hand in Coogie, Heatherette and Drunken Monkey clothing brands. So he's involved with the brand. I'm, you know, it doesn't say he outright owns it, but that's another place you may have heard about this is if you are a Shark Tank fan. So let's look at what these are. These are really loud, vibrant, almost obnoxious looking sweaters. And these are another item that are really easy to spot in a thrift store. You can just look down the aisle and you can just see you know all the colors and it's uh, it's textured so these are you know it's like raised stitching so they're very easy to identify and once you see it you'll know but you can see that they are just crazy colors and everyone's wearing them hip-hop people wear them women are wearing them anybody wears these just for I think because they're unique and unusual so that actually helps the price go higher because they are unusual and there's just not that many of them um, I actually sold one this week I found at a thrift store for two dollars and it sold for $109.97 on full asking price and I was thrilled when that sale came up so this is a real thing that you can actually make money on and mine was a Coogie classic and it says made in Australia so the vintage ones are definitely worth more so let's go over to eBay and see what's happening there on the active listings we've got 998 results for this product and let's just take a look at used versus new so most of them for sale are used so 709 results for used that shows us that this is a niche product eBay is not oversaturated with them but there are plenty for sale people are actually finding them so now let's go to completed listings and see what they sell for and we'll just stick with the used for now so the highest priced sold item is uh, $399 it was a cardigan and let's see the bigger sizes are always going to sell for more so this one was a large so it wasn't too extra large you know it was just a large and still sold for right at $400 and this was located in Utah so in the United States let's look at another one the next one down sold for 325 the one I had wasn't really all that vibrant so I priced a little bit lower but if I had one that was really bright colors neon colors I would have priced it higher and this one came out of Nashville Tennessee and this is the tag that you may see more often is this colorful where there the letters are all different colors so when you're flipping through the racks at thrift stores this is a label you want to look for I will say that on the jeans those are often faked so if you're if you find any coogie jeans make sure you authenticate them jeans in general are one of the most faked items out there jeans and sunglasses and handbags so the sweaters not so much um, but you can see this one is just really loud and bright and that's what you want to find so let's look at one more 
and ooh, that one's really colorful. Three hundred dollars out of Michigan. And if we look close, you can see it's got the swirls on it. A lot of details in the stitching. And there's the kooky made in Australia. And this one's a three extra large, so that would be a good find because the larger they are, the more you're going to get for them. So put that brand back on your bolo list, Kugi sweaters. Look for those. And if you've ever sold one, put that in the comments below. Tell me how much you sold it for. This is a pretty rare find. I've only found a couple in my eBay career, so I'd love to hear from those of you that have sold one. Thanks for watching and have a great day on eBay. Bye.